Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. My Lord, my Father, my Redeemer. I bless your name. I thank you, Father, for this great opportunity that you give to me to be in front of your people to spread your good news. Let your Holy Spirit translate your word in me so I can talk whatever you tell me to do. I believe that you are here and will do whatever you want to do to your people in the glory of the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Praise the Lord. Ninakwenda kutoa shukrani zangu. I want to thank kwa mtumishi wa Mungu. The servant of God. Pastor Amos. Pastor Amos kwa kunialika katika mkutano huu. For inviting me in this place today. Hallelujah. Amen. Kama Gisa amesema mwanzoni, as he said in the beginning, sio kila mtumishi not every seven anakuaga anaruhusu allows wengine watumishi other seven kupanda kwenye madhabahu yao to come onto their altar sio wote not all the seven wanakuwa wanachaguana wao kwa wao sio wanajuhani they select each other as they know each other lakini katika ufalme wa mbingu but in the kingdom of god tuko sawa sawa wote we are all equal haupaswi kuchagua huyu you should not be um, selecting this na kumkataa huyu and rejecting this one maana wote tunafanya kazi moja we are all doing one work ya ufalme wa mbingu. The work of the kingdom of God. Tunapigana we are fighting kwa ajili ya ufalme wa mbingu. For the kingdom of God. Tunapigana we are fighting kwa ajili ya jina la Yesu Kristo. For the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Nimemshukuru sana mchungaji. Thank you. Kwa kunipatia nafasi hii. For inviting me. Mungu akubariki sana. Thank you very much. Na Mungu abariki kanisa nzima. God bless the whole church. Mungu abariki mati nzima ya kanisa hili. The whole leadership of Ambao mmenikubali kusimama hapa. Who have allowed me kuweza kujitoa neno la Bwana. Haleluya. Amen. Basi nitakwenda katika mafundisho. I'm going to go into the teaching. Sitakwenda kuhubiri. I'm not preaching. Nitakwenda kufundisha. I'm going to do teaching. Haleluya. Amen. Kama tungejikuwa na ile muda wa Afrika, if we had the time from Africa. Tungetumia tableau hapa. We could have used a board. Tio tunaandika sababu ni mafundisho. So that we can be writing lakini sababu ya muda wa Australia tutakwenda <laughs> kufunza jada ambayo roho wa Bwana atataka tufundishe. So Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na nimempendeza Mungu siku ya leo. Tujifunze habari za nyakati za mwisho. That we learn about the end times. Sababu huu ni muda mgumu. These are difficult times. Ambapo watoto wa Mungu when children of God taifa la Bwana the people of God wanapenda kujua siri. They need to discover the secret. Ambayo that is wanaweza ukasimama nayo that they should stand on katika imani yao to strengthen their faith. Ili waweze kushindana so that they can overcome na mipango ya ulimwengu wa giza the plans of the kingdom of the devil waweze kushindana so that they can overcome na kila nguvu all the powers ambazo zinapangwa that are planned na maadui by the enemy wa bwana wetu yesu kristo against the uh, lord jesus christ bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen na leo tutakwenda katika neno and today we are going to go in the word huu jumbe this message Nimeupata kwa muda mrefu sana. I, I it for a very long time. Na nimeuandaa. And I prepared it. Kwa ajili ya watoto wa Mungu. For the children of God. Na ni jambo ngumu. And it is very difficult. Kuimaliza kwa siku moja. To finish in one day. Kwa maana because inahitajika seminar. It, it should be a seminar. Amaana chukua muda mrefu. That can take a long time. Na kitu tutasema yale ambayo. But we will share tutaweza kufanya siku ya leo what we can for today mengine and the rest tutaachia bwana we we'll leave it unto the hands of god hallelujah amen tutakwenda kufungua biblia zetu let's open up our bibles matayo 12:4 matayo 12:4 
Matthew chapter 24 na mustari wake wa 4 from verse 4 hadi mustari wake wa 8 and until verse 8 nitasoma kwa Kiswahili I'm going to read in Swahili na pastor Amos asoma kwa Kiingereza Bwana Yesu asiwe Mbingu ina kila kitu Heavens have everything Lugha zote all languages zimetoka kwa baba came from god akili zetu zote our mind our zimetengenezwa na yeye baba was made by god na ndio maana wakati tunatumia lugha and this is why when we use a language tunatamani kuomba kila mtu asikie we want to be sure that everyone understands sababu na yeye afaidike jambo fulani so that everyone of us can benefit from hearing the word of bwana yesu asitiwe sana Nina soma kitabu cha Mathayo 12:4 mstari wa 4 hadi wa 8 Matthew 24 from verse 4 to verse 8 Katika jina la Yesu Kristo Nazareth ya hai Yesu akawajibu jiadharini msije mkadanganywa na mtu Maana wengi watatokea wakisema kila mmoja kwamba yeye ndiye Kristo nao watawapotosha watu wengi mtasikia juu ya vita na fununu za vita lakini muta, lakini msifadhaike maana hayo hayo hayana budi kutokea lakini mwisho wenyewe ungali bado taifa moja litapigana na taifa lingine Ufame mmoja utapigana na ufame mwingine. Hapa na pale patakuwa na njaa na mitetemeko na ya ardhi. Yote hayo ni kama mwanzo wa maumivu ya kujifungua mtoto. Amen. Kali uh, in English Matthew chapter 24 from verse 4 to 8. And Jesus answered and said to them Take heed that no one deceives you for many will come in my name saying I am the Christ and will deceive many and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you are not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there will be famines pestilences and earthquakes in various places All these are the beginning of sorrows. Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Biblia inatuambia wazi. The Bible says clearly. Tusidanganywe. That we should not be deceived. Sababu wengi because many watakuja. Will come. Wakisema kwamba saying that wao ni wa Kristo. That they are Christians. Wao ni Kristo. That they are the Christ. Lakini wao sio. But they are not the Christ. Watadanganya wengi. They will deceive many. Na wengi watakubaliana hayo maneno. And many people will be deceived. Wengi watapotoshwa njia. Many people will be deceived. Wengi watapotoshwa mwelekeo. Many people will go astray. Sababu because ulimwengu wa leo unaendana na technology. Is led by technology. Inaendana na akili. Is led by intelligence. Inaendana na tamaa ya mwili. Is led by the lust of flesh. Biblia ka The Bible says adui we have three enemies. Adui wa kwanza ni huyo shetani. It is the devil. Na adui wa pili ni imili yetu. Na adui wa tatu ni dunia hii. Hallelujah. Na wewe ukitaka kana kwamba and if Usikue adui wa Kristo Yesu. If you don't want to become the enemy of Christ. Ni lazima usiwasikize wale ambao watasema ni, wa, ni Kristo na sio wao wa Kristo. It's good not to follow or to listen to the people who call themselves Christ when they are not. Sababu because watakupotosha njia. They will lead you astray. Hallelujah. Tujifunza leo mambo fulani. We are going to learn a few things. Ambayo tutasaidia. That are going to help us. Usimama to stay katika msingi on the foundation wa Yesu Kristo. Of Jesus Christ. Title yetu ya leo. The title for our message. Inatuambia hivi. It says Nini ambayo itatokea? What must happen? Kabla ya kurudi kwa Bwana wetu Yesu. For the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Narudia tena title hiyo. I'm repeating the title. 
Nini itakayotokea? What will happen? Kabla ya kurudi before kwa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Prior to the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hii ni siri kubwa ambayo watu wengi hawaijui. This is a big secret that so many people do not know. Na makanisa mengi hayafundishi kuhusu habari hizi. And many churches are not teaching about this message. Sababu hizi habari because such a message. Ni habari za ufunuo. It is a message that comes from revelation. Na habari za ufunuo and the revelation yale ambayo ni masinagogi ya ulimwengu wa giza those other churches or ministries from the kingdom of the devil hawakuwahi wanazungumza kuhusu ufunuo they do not speak about revelation or end times sababu ni biblia ni kitabu ambacho anakiogopaga sana because especially the book of revelation it is not common to the people who are not from god the sababu na satanist maybe ufunuo inafunua because revelation reveals gisi wataingia katika tanuri ya moto how those who are not following god in truth will be thrown into uh, um, uh, to hell inafunua revelation reveals namna gani how huyo baba yao shetani the, their father na malaika wa ulimwengu wa giza and the kingdoms uh, and the angels from the kingdom of hell watashikwa they will all be captured na kutupwa ndani ya tanuri ya moto they will be thrown into the furnace of fire ndio maana wapendaye kusoma hii kitabu. This is why those who are evil doers do and and not used to teach or talk about the Sababu wakisoma kitabu cha ufunuo. Because if they read about the book of Revelation. Inakuwa kinavunja nguvu zao. It breaks their powers. Sababu mna nguvu za Mungu katika kitabu cha ufunuo. There is the power of God in the book of Revelation. Bwana amefunulia Yohana. God revealed to John. Sababu ya kuonyesha watu siri so that John can reveal the secrets ya wale ambao wamwabudu Yesu Kristo namna gani watakwenda kuhukumiwa how they will be judged in the end na wale ambao watakuwa ndani ya Kristo Yesu namna gani watakwenda kuinuliwa na Bwana milele they will be saved and be lifted unto heaven with God haleluya bila kukauya tutakwenda kuchambua Let's just go through a few things. Maneno ambayo ni, ni, ni alama au sign. Let's look at the signs. Ambazo zatuonesha that will show us. Kuja kwa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Ukiyaona hayo, ujue kwamba inakuwa ni uchio wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Understand that there are signs for the return of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Tumeambia mkitabu cha Mathayo. In the book of Matthew haya si hayakuwa ndio mwisho wa dunia lakini ni alama ya kutuonesha namna gani bwana wetu Yesu Kristo anakuwa karibu kuchukua kanisa sasa hizi anakuwa na gonga mlango ya watumishi wake watu wa Mungu ili kana kwamba so wakuwe tayari wakuwe tayari sababu anakuja kuchukua bibi harusi wake. Waanze jiandaa kama bibi harusi. Kupitia maalama hizi. Haleluya. Sababu ya kwenda na muda wetu. So we are kama gisi nimesema ni mambo mengi sana. It is so many things ambayo tunaweza tukachambua that we are going to go through lakini tutakwenda kuchambua ile ambayo tutaweza siku ya leo pamoja na roho wa Bwana Tutakwenda kuona sign ya kwanza The first sign ambayo maandiko yanashuhudia that the bible talks about Bibi anasema nyakati za mwisho tutaona alama hii ya kwanza. Tukiona hii alama inatokea tujue kwamba Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo anakuwa karibu kuja kuchukua kanisa. Usisahau tajifunza jambo umesema. Mambo yatakayotokea kabla Yesu Kristo hajarudi chukua kanisa. Na jambo la kwanza ni vita. Ukatili. Violence. 
Uwasi wa sheria lawlessness na njaa and famine Hallelujah Unapoona mambo hayo yanaanza kutokea kila wakati kila wakati When you begin these things start happening all the time Jua kana kwamba wana wetu Yesu Kristo You need to understand that the Lord Jesus Christ Yuko karibu is near kuja kuchukua kanisa to come and take his church Sasa kubidi wewe na mimi So it, it is now up to you Tulitayarishe that we start getting ready Ili Yesu akicha so that when Jesus comes Abukute wewe uko tayari kama kanisa We find us we as his church ready Bwana Yesu asitiwe Watu wengi wanachanganyikiwa na neno kanisa So many people are confused about the word church Hata nichambua hapo kidogo Let's talk about church Watu wanasema kanisa church ama leo niuze swali Or if I can ask a question. Kwa watoto wetu hapa. Ask the church. Tuambie mtuambie kanisa ni nini? What is church? Bana tuambie ni kiki nyumba ndio kanisa. Let's talk about this building. Hallelujah. Lakini hii nyumba, this building, kiroho, spiritually, sio ndio kanisa. That is not the church. Kanisa ni wewe. Church is you. Kanisa ni mimi. Church is me. Ambapo Yesu Kristo, when Jesus, anakaa ndani yetu. Where Jesus lives. Akifanya kazi ndani mwetu. Akituongoza yeye Yesu Kristo. Kuyafanya mapenzi yake. Na yote ambaye anachafua huu mwili. And whosoever anachafua huu mwili. Makes this body dirty. Anachafua kanisa la baba. He deceives the church of Anamuchafua Yesu Kristo. You deceive Jesus. Kwa maana yeye anaishi ndani ya huu mwili. He lives within our body. Hallelujah. Lakini hii nyumba inatusaidia tu. Mvua ikinyesha when there is rain to find the shelter. ikiwa makali when there is sun tusichomeke. So that we are not bent. Ni sehemu ya kuabudia Mungu. This is just a shelter for us to worship. Lakini sio kanisa. But this is not church. Kanisa ni wewe na kanisa ni mimi. Hallelujah. Amen. So wakati unaweza kuona haya yanatokea kama kanisa ukiona njaa inakuwa nyingi vita hapa na hapa vinatokea ukiona sheria inakuwa haina katika mkondo wake People are no longer following law. Ukiona njaa inakuwa nyingi. When there is too much famine, jua kwamba ujio wana wetu Yesu Kristo. The end of our Lord Jesus Christ. Unakuwa karibu. Is at hand. Ni kwako sasa kujitayarisha. Up to you to get ready. Ili akija Bwana Yesu Kristo. So when the Lord Jesus comes back. Akukute huko tayari. You should be found ready. Hallelujah. Amen. Tuangalie mifano leo. Let's look today. Unasikia leo huko na huko watu wanapigana. You are uh, uh, hearing that nation against nation are fighting hapa karibuni tumesikia sasa hivi tunabai kwamba kuna nchi mbili zinapigana sasa hivi now we are talking about two countries in the world that are fighting hallelujah mm. ni uvamio wa nchi moja uh, a country is unavamia is uh, um, is taking over nguvu za nchi nyingine another country au tajiri wa nchi nyingine so it is taking over wealth from the other country kimabavu violently sio kwamba wanafurahia kuwafai kwa kuwa hivyo the other country is happy with what is happening lakini wanachukulia kimabavu but they are being taken by violence sababu wana nguvu because the other country is powerful kuwaliko wao over the other na wakati hayo yanatokea jua kwamba Yesu Kristo anakuwa karibu kucha kwa maana wa Kristo wengi wanaomwabudu Yesu Kristo katika haki na kweli wanakuwa wanaibiwa haki yao wanakuwa wanaibiwa sheria hata kama pastor Amos anakwenda kwa court na anakuwa na sheria ya kuweza kushinda ile case lakini sababu kuna kuwa nyakati za mwisho watabadilisha decision ya kumwadia haki yake na wanakuwa kumnyima haki sababu sheria inakuwa kimabavu there is lawlessness people are not following law justice hallelujah amen Ukiangalia katika ulimwengu saa hizi Watu wanateseka na njaa sana. So wa homeless wanakuwa wengi sana. 
much of homelessness Sababu, because ni nyakati za mwisho ambazo ni maandalizi times what which are preparing wa uchio bwana wetu Yesu Kristo to prepare the return of the Lord Jesus Christ jina la bwana barikiwe may the name of god be glorified Ukitizama vita. When you look at wounds, wana wa Mungu wanakuwa wanakosa na muda wa kusinzia nyumbani kwao. So many people are staying at home. Wengi wanasikoza hata muda kulala kwao. So many people have no even time to sleep. Asubuhi wako nyumbani. In the morning they Saa sita wako porini. Okay. Because of war in the morning they wake up but during the day they run away they go into the bush. Wakirudia masaa mawili nyumbani baada ya masaa matatu wamekimbia tena porini. Unakuta kama inchi in, in kind of nation, imeanza kutikisika na mambo ya vita. Na hiyo ni sign moja wapo. Ambayo inaonyesha watoto wa Mungu walio ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Ujio wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Kuna baadhi ya wengi so wanaongeaga. So, Aseme tangu tunaanza kuambiwa kuja kwa Yesu Kristo. So tangu mababu yetu it is from our ancestors. Tangu mababu wa babu zetu from ancestors and ancestors. Tangu wa baba zetu from our fathers. Bona Yesu hajakujaga. Where is Jesus he has never returned. Bwana Yesu atusaidie. Ni hao watu wanabaki mu destruction. Those people who are living in destruction. Maana Yesu Kristo amesema. Because Jesus Christ said, Siku ya kuja kwake. When he will come. Hakuna aweza yekujua. No one will know the day. Hallelujah. Hatutajua siku wala saa. No one will know the day. Atakaye kuja Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Anaweza akaja leo. He could come to. Anaweza akaja kesho. He could come to. Anaweza akaja saa hizi. He could come right now. Kama wewe hujui prepare. If you are not prepared. Kama hujiandaa vizuri. You are not prepared. Utatekwa nyara. You will be caught. Na ukitekwa nyara. And prepared and you are caught and prepared. Wewe unakuwa miongoni mwa wale ambao. You will be among among his people. Watakuja kuwa wapinzani wa Yesu Kristo hapo mbele yake become antichrist. Hallelujah. Hiyo ni sign ya kwanza. That's one of the signs. Sign yetu ya pili. The second sign that we want to look at. Halama yetu ya pili. The second sign we need to look at. Ni wakati utaona tetemeko when we start seeing earthquakes. Na maafa mengi vipo vingi and so many death vya ukatili vinatokea natural catastrophes Bwana asifiwe sana Wakati utaona tetemeko ya inchi when we start hearing about earthquakes na hiyo tetemeko inaua watu wengi sana natural disasters killing people Anza kutambua hiyo ni alama ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kurudi kuchukua kanisa Jesus to come back to take his people his church na wakati tunayaona hayo lazima wewe mwana wa Mungu uanze kujitayarisha hayo yote yatatokea Bible imetoa mimi kitabu cha Mathayo hayo yote yatatokea lakini kama uko ndani ya Kristo Yesu usiogope 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 kwa maana bwana wetu anakwenda kuandaa nafasi ya wewe kwenda kutulia na kuwa na amani na ulinzi and protection kutoka bikuli from him alone hallelujah amen wakati tetemeko zinakuwa nyingi mu ulimwengu when we begin seeing earthquakes unasikia hapa tetemeko unasikia hapa tetemeko unasikia hapa tetemeko unasikia huko tetemeko anza kutiki vema kama mwana wa Mungu begin understanding as a child of god kwamba begin learning about the signs za kuja kwa bwana wetu Yesu. Na hiyo ni ambayo baba ametupatia. Ametuambia tukiona hayo yanatokea. Tujue kwamba haijakuwa ndio mwisho wa dunia. Lakini ni mwanzo. Kama vile mwanzo wa mama ambaye anasikia machungwa atajifungua mtoto. 
of the labor of a pregnant woman. Najua mama wako hapa wanajua namna gani. Mothers know. Hallelujah. How labor. Wakati mama anataka kujifungua mtoto, when a woman is about Machungu yakiwa mengi, when the labor increases, anakuwa anasumbuka sana. She is not stable. Anakuwa anahangaika sana. She is in pain. Anataka mpiga dada baba makofi. She can even hit her. Kama baba yuko tayari kumbeka kwa hospitali mapema. Wanting the husband to take her to the hospital. Eh yeah, pastor. That's right. Hallelujah. Ndio gisi hivyo wakati wa nyakati za mwisho during the end times wa ujio bwana wetu Yesu Kristo wakati watoto wa Mungu wanakumbana mambo mengi wanakumbana matatizo mengi wanakumbana shida nyingi ambazo zinawapeleka huko na huko misukosuko ya huko na huko dhuluma za huko na huko tunawafanya kuwa katika machungu we begin feeling pain kama mama ambaye zitungoja kunifungua mtoto na ukiona alama kama na hii moja wapo ya tetemeko na ambayo inaua watu wengi ujue ni ujio wa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo haleluya jina la bwana liniuliwe kwa maana wakati wa mtetemeko when earthquakes wengi wanabaki mayatima so many people will remain of wengi wanabaki wajane so many people remain wa baba wengi wanabaka wanabaki hawana waua wake tena maana katika mtetemeko inaua watu wengi sana wakati sijui mwaka uliopita last year tumesikia kwetu nyumbani kumetoka mtetemeko hapo goma we heard um, in congo there was uh, the volcano na hii imeua watu wengi sana. And that volcano killed so many people. Hallelujah. Wengi wamebaki hawana tena watoto. Many people lost their children. Wengi wamebaki hawana wake. Many people lost their lives. Wengi wamebaki hawana waume. Many people lost their houses. Wengi wamepoteza manyumba. Many people lost their houses. Wengi wamepoteza utajiri. Many people lost their world. Na wakati hayo yote unaweza kuyaona kama kanisa kama mkristo anza kuangalia kwa ni alama ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kurudi for Jesus to come back kuchukua bibi harusi wake amani ni wewe na ambaye ni mimi haleluya kuna watu wengi wanakuwa wanachanganyikiwa ukimwambia so pastor Amos Siku ya Bwana kuja kuchukua kanisa wewe utaitwa mwanamke Haitumie ambaye imeombika mwanaume Nitakuwa mwanamke Haleluya Bwana the Lord siku hiyo on that day ya kuchukuliwa kwa watoto wa baba when he comes to take his chair bwana harusi ni Yesu Kristo the bride is Jesus Christ na sisi wote ambao tumemfuata Yesu Kristo the bridegroom we who are uh, 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 following Jesus kama vile bwana mwokozi wa maisha yetu we have believed in Jesus bibi yeye anasema kwamba tutakuwa wanawake we will be the bride tutavaa sura ya wanawake sio kwamba na kucheni sexi ya kuwa mwanamke lakini Mungu wetu amesema sisi tutaitwa wanawake na yeye atakuwa bwana harusi na wote tukikuwa tumemaliza mwendo vizuri tukipiga mwendo vizuri na kwa safari yetu vizuri tutabadilishwa na kuvikwa makanzu meupe ya bibi harusi na Yesu Kristo atakuwa na suti ya bwana harusi kama makofi kwa ya Yesu Kristo Sasa so, wewe kama vile bibi harusi. Now you as the bridegroom, ni lazima utambue hizi siri. You need to begin understanding this. Sababu za kufanya wewe kwanza kuna kitu kile sema hii ni alama hii. When you begin uh, discovering that these things are happening as signs, you start getting Nasema hii ni alama hii. Kwa hiyo yanibidi mimi this is one of the signs and niwe tayari. As a child of Sabu, God. Sababu maybe Bwana anaanza kufika saa hizi. Maybe the Lord would return and Don't mana bibi yeye anasema tunafaa kuwa wasafi wakati wowote. To be holy all the time. Tunakuitakasa wakati wowote. 
Kwa maana hatujui siku wala saa. Anakuja bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Kuichukua kanisa. Kuja kuchukua wewe. Kuja kuichukua mimi. Ambao ni bibi harusi. You must be ready all the time. Bwana Yesu Kristo. Hataambia mtu na kuja leo. Hatakwambia leo dakika ile kuchukua wewe. Anakuja kama mwizi. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. Bible says that he will come as a thief. When the thief is coming, will the thief tell you that he's coming to steal from your house tomorrow? Does the thief tell you when he will come? He tell you that he is coming. He comes Anaanza kugombana dikte mlango. Aingie ndani na aibe. Na kikosa cha kuiba ndani ya nyumba yako. Akikosa cha kuiba. Hata kuacha hai. Atakumaliza. Sababu unatoa siri yake. Ndio kisi bwana wetu Yesu Kristo anakuja. Anakuja bila kuagiza mtu. Na kama kukuta huko tayari. Wewe tayari umekuwa mufu. Hata kama unatembea. Tayari unakuwa mufu. Hata kama unaishi. Haleluya. Hii ni alama ya pili. Ya kuonyesha kwamba ukiona hii unatokea kama mwana wa Mungu. Uwe tayari sana. Kwa maana anaweza kaja muda wote. Na kukuja uko tayari. Haleluya. Alama ya tatu. Ni alama ambayo inasumbua taifa la Bwana sana. Haleluya. Sisi kama wa Kristo tunashindwa kuaminika sababu ya hili jambo. Tunashindwa kuaminika. Sababu ya hili jambo. Hata tunasema magondo yasiyo tibika na ya kutisha. Magondo yasiyo tibika diseases that are not na ya kutisha and escape haleluya na hayo magonjwa and those diseases yameanza atoka awali they began long time ago tumeanza na ugonjwa wa sida huko tulisikia we know about hiv tumesikia Ebola began long time we heard about Ebola. Na tumesikia magonjwa mengine. We've heard about so many diseases. Na leo tuna coronavirus. And today we are facing the coronavirus. Hallelujah. Na katika hiyo sisi ambao tumesimama na neno hili ambao tumejua zisiri za alama ya kuja kwa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ndio maana tumepingana na kupigwa chanjo ya corona Haleluya sababu ni moja wapo ya maalama ambazo ni magonjwa yasiyotibika na ambayo inatisha tukiangalia magonjwa haya corona imeua watu wengi sana haleluya haya tuangalie kwanza pedestrians natamaanisha nini epidemi pandemic pandemic ndio mtema nisha nini what does the um, what does pandemic mean or epidemic haleluya mm. ndaza kwa words pestilences okay so let's talk about pestilence sababu maandiko yanatuambia hiyo pestilence so the bible talks about pestilence ni hayo yanasema kwa ni magonjwa it means that these are diseases ambayo imeachiliwa that were released na shetani by the devil 
na fame za giza by the kingdom of the devil ili kana kwamba so iwaue wengi to kill so many people kupitia magonjo hayo through those diseases iwe taifa la bwana kupitia magonjo hayo through those diseases na ambayo haitakuwa na tiba and those diseases will not be curable haleluya na sisi tumetambua kwamba and we have wakati na kuona alama ya magonjwa yanakuja ambayo hayana tiba of, of, of anza kujua kwamba hiyo ni alama ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kuja kuchukua kanisa na hapo hautatambua kama huko kiroho haleluya kama hauko kiroho hauwezi kutambua kuhusu saini hiyo lakini kama uko kiroho baba atasema na wewe baba atakuambia kwamba hii ni moja ya alama ya ujio wangu wengi wana translate vibaya hii so corona wanaongea vibaya kuhusu hii So many people are talking negatively about Wanakuambia corona So many people are saying that the coronavirus Jo chapa ya mnyama It is the sign of the beast Hapana No Corona haijakuwa ndio mpinga Kristo Corona it is not the antichrist Lakini But ni maandalizi ya mpinga Kristo It is the preparation of the antichrist Hallelujah ni maandalizi iko inaandaa njia ya mpinga Kristo kufika jina bwana barikiwe ukiangalia saa hizi tuko tunatembea msheria mpya sheria mpya ambayo saa hizi Watu wanatembea ndani pasipo kuchua. Lakini watu wa kiroho wamefunuliwa na baba. Tumekwenda kupokea tukijua siri. Kama tunaishi mnyu world order ambayo inasumbua ulimwengu. Jina bwana barikiwe. Kuna new world order the, there is the new world order ambayo imetolewa that has been released ambayo imeanza kufanya kazi that is working operating bana sema ni 2021 it is 2021 baka 2030 itakuwa inafanya kazi okay from 2021 to 2030 the new world order sheria mpya ya ulimwengu the new world order will be operating iko inafanya kazi saa hizi the new world order will be kuanza mwaka wa 20 mwaka wa 2021 mpaka 2023 2021 to 2030 from 2030 to 2030 na watu wengi hawajui siri hii so many people have not discovered this sign na hiyo new world order and this new world imekwenda kukaliwa kikao it has been planned na umoja wa mataifa by the united nations na waka plan hiyo and they came up with this plan na wakasema and they have decided itafanya kazi mwaka wa 2021 that it will begin operating from 2021 to 2030 katika muda huu kutapita mambo mengi sana ambayo itawafanya wale ambao wasiosimama imara watakuwa na kuporomoka na kumkana Kristo haleluya katika muda huu wa 2021 From 2021 na paka 2030 ni wengi sana so many people baada kupitia mambo yatakuja hapo mbele as a result of persecution watakwenda kumkataa Kristo yes. as a result of life challenges will begin ni hapo bwana atawaona wale and the lord will be looking at them ni ni hapo bwana atawaona wale and the lord will see them ambao those wanampenda yeye na ambao walikuwa wanamsifu kwa midomo tu sio ndani ya moyo wao haleluya sio nipate nafasi ya kusoma hizo sheria kidogo 
let me read a little bit about that new world order. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hata nimpe pastor asoma Kiingereza ndio asoma Kiswahili. Sababu nimeandaa pia Kiswahili. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe sana. Walivyokaa chini when you look at it walivyokaa chini when the united nations are decided wamekaa kapanga hizi sheria they came up with these laws na hizi sheria zitafanyika ukatae usikatae these laws will take place whether we like it or not sababu because imeshapangwa it is planned haleluya na taifa la Mungu the people of god tutapitia yote hayo we will go through all these things hata yakata sababu ni maandalizi ya baba we will not deny it because this has to take place sababu ina ina maanisha inakamilisha kuja kwa Yesu Kristo it is confirming the end times sheria kwa leo umepanga ni hii the first world order is kutakuwa serikali moja ya ulimwengu mzima there will be one world government kutakuwa serikali moja ambayo itaongoza ulimwengu wote mzima ukiangalia mu kitabu cha ufunuo inatuambia serikali kumi ambazo zitapambana vita na Yesu Kristo na pia na wakristo na baada ya hapo kutaundika sheria hii serikali moja this one world government na hiyo itaongoza ulimwengu wote mzima hautakuwa eh prime minister hata kwa minister wa Queensland they won't be the prime minister of Australia hautakuwa president wa Congo wala president wa Burundi kutakuwa rais mmoja ambaye anaongoza ulimwengu mzima kutakuwa inchi moja ambao utaongoza ulimwengu mzima haya majina yote Australia, Australia sijui uh, New South Wales no Australia sijui Australia, New Zealand Congo wapi hayata kuwepo tena kutakuwa moja ambayo itaongoza ulimwengu hiyo ni sheria yao wamepanga sheria ya pili kutakuwa na pesa moja ya ulimwengu mzima pesa moja ambayo itaongoza ulimwengu mzima hautakuwa dola hautakuwa eh, mafra kongole hautakuwa marundi hautakuwa atujui ni dola ngapi ni pesa ngapi taongoza pesa gani taongoza ulimwengu hatujui ni ya wapi lakini utakuwa pesa moja ambayo itaongoza ulimwengu mzima haleluya ya tatu kutakuwa benki moja ambayo itakuwa naongoza ulimwengu mzima au itakuwa commonwealth au itakuwa INZ au itakuwa aina yote za benki zile utakuwa benki moja ambayo mimi na wewe tuichumi ambayo itaongoza dunia mzima ya ine kutakuwa mwisho wa, ma, wa maskari wa mainchi tofauti utakuwa askari moja ambao anaongoza ulimwengu mzima haleluya sasa tuko na maskari wa Australia tuko na maskari wa kila inchi tofauti kila tuna maskari zao na wanawafunza kisi wanataka wao na kani wakati huo kutakuwa maskari mtindo mmoja ambao watafunzwa mtindo mmoja wa namna gani ya kuweza kupambana na wakristo haleluya ya tano kutakuwa mwisho wa enzi kuu ya taifa kama unaishi katika hizo sheria 
Utakuwa unaishi katika mwisho wa enzi wa mwezi kuu wa taifa. New orders there will be the end of all national sovereignty. Haleluya. Ya sita. Mwisho wa maji zote za kibinafsi. The end of all privately owned property. Kama uko tajiri una nyumba moja, zitanyanganywa na serikali zinaongozwa na wao wa serikali moja Kama una tajiri wa kifedha utalazimika kwenda kuweka katika benki hiyo to save to put your money into the hiyo benki moja na kuna sheria ambayo atakufanya wewe utie pesa hiyo benki ambao wao wakuongea hapa lakini wao hawakuongea ni nini hiyo sheria lakini kama wa Kristo tunapoambiwa haya tumetambua ufunuo 13 na mstari wake wa 18 namna gani unasema what the bible talks about haleluya itafikia wakati there kuwa na akili ya kutafakari kwa ajili ya haya ya saba itakuta kuwa mwisho wa kitendo cha ufamilia au umoja wa ufamilia wakati huo kutakuwa mwisho wa mafamilia pastor amos Pastor Amos na familia yake family, hatakuwa ya kwake tena it, it won't be his family itakuwa familia ya ile serikali moja the family will belong to that to that government ndio na yongoza the family, families will be led by hatakuwa na uwezo by that government he won't have power hatakuwa na mamlaka he won't have authority kwa ajili ya mke wake over his wife kwa ajili ya watoto wake over his children wote watakuwa wanaongozwa all his family na hiyo serikali moja ya nane nitaishia hapo ziko 25 so ukitaka nda kupatia kopi sababu ni nayo haleluya utasoma nyumbani ya nasha kujua hiyo ya ya nane kutakuwa kuhama kwa watu kuzibiti ukuaji wa idadi ya watu na idadi ya watu control of population growth and population density hiyo itatokea that one will be imeandaliwa that is part of the plan as well kuanza 2021 that is part of the new world order starting from 2021 mpaka 2030 to 2030 na hapo ukianza kuona hayo ukishuka chini hapo inaongea ya tisa nasema kwamba kutakuwa multiple mandatory vaccination kutakuwa machanjo ya kulazimisha na after corona kuna nyingine zinaandaliwa huko mbele sasa other vaccines planned kama leo umepigwa tatu hapo mbele kuna kuja nyingine unapigwa nyingine tatu kuna kuja nyingine unapigwa nyingine tatu huo mwili wa Yesu Kristo unakuwa hujaoza katika ulimwengu wa roho sababu hii inaendelea wasema kutakuwa chanjo za kulazimishwa multiple vaccination multiple multiple mandatory vaccines kulazimisha sio ya kuomba sio ya yale ni condition you must na ndio nimesema wengi watamkataa Yesu Kristo sababu ya hayo yakitokea huko mbele in this world kama nakwambia leo utapigwa chanjo ya kulazimisha if they tell you that you have to be vaccinated utafanyaje what are you going to do sababu bila nasema because the bible says wakati ikifika when that time comes ya hiyo chapa when the time of the beast comes utakuwa unaulizwa you will be asked 
Unapenda kupigwa wala hapana. Do you want to receive the the, 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 the sign of the beast? Ukisema hapana. If you say no, wanakata sikio. They cut off your ear. Bana kuna tena mara ya pili. Watakuwa na kubembeleza kabisa pole pole. I'm just talking to you nicely. Unampenda Yesu Kristo au utapigwa chapa? Do you still love Jesus Christ or you want to deny Mie him? Mimi niko wa Yesu Kristo. No, I I belong to Jesus. Bana kata sikio ingine. They cut another ear. Mpaka wewe wote utamalizika vitambo vya mwili until they finish all your body na huko unaona hawajakuua and they haven't finished you kid you so kwanza sikia machungu yanakuwa mengi kama mama ambaye anataka kujifungua mtoto ndio pale wengi watamkana Yesu so eh hey. ah niko tayari mimi no. Munipige chapa. Lakini walio wa Yesu Kristo wamesema wasiogope atawavika nguvu za kiroho. Strengthen them spiritually. Jesus. Amen. Walio wa Yesu Kristo bado wafunika na, na, na mabawa yake. Atajenga fence kwa ajili yao. He will protect them. Haina haja yatokea yote hayo. Even all these signs will take place haitawatisha these signs will not na wata mkana yesu kristo they will not deny jesus christ twende kwa alama yake ya ine let's look at the fourth sign alama ya ine the fourth sign kutainuka kuinuka kwa nguvu ya misingi ya kiislam there will be the rise of an aggressive a uh, 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 fundamentalist um, islamic power kutakuwa kuinuka there will be kwa dini ya kiislam pa- uh, 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 the, the, the powers I- uh, uh, of the islamic ambao watasimama that is going na kupambana na wakristo to stand against christians Tukiangalia hata leo yako yanafanyika. Lakini hayakuwa fundamentally. Lakini wakati huo sasa itafanyika kihadharani. Na watapigana wa Kristo. Watauwa wa Kristo. Wataangamiza wa Kristo. Christians will be killed. Kutakuwa vita vikubwa sana. Kwa maana wao watainuka na nguvu. Na kupambana na Wakristo. Ukiona hayo yanatokea kila wakati. Kwa wingi sana. So many times. Jua kwamba. Ujio wa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Umekaribia. Ingawaje nafanyika leo wanauana lakini wanakuwa na uofu but this is happening secretly wanakuwa wanaogopa this is happening secretly wanakuwa wanajificha lakini kipindi hicho kipindi hichi itakuwa hadharani watakuwa wanakuja hadharani wanakuja tu tunaabudu hapa wanaingia hapo na wanaanza kupambana vita na sisi lakini usiogope usio usona uoga mtumishi wa ametuambia asubuhi hapa brother mungu ametuambia asubuhi hapa uoga unaleta kifo haleluya wakati unaogopa unakaribisha mauti wakati unaogopa unakaribisha magonjwa ndio maana wengi wanapata na magonjwa ya corona sababu ya uoga yeye akili yake yote iko yeye tu kuoche mamuvi akili yake yote iko yeye kuoche ma information hapo sikema information ya, ya corona jinsi ilivyo inampatia uoga na pompatia uoga na watu wengi wanaanza kugonjwa na kuna tofauti lakini lakini baba amesema usiogope kwa maana yuko in control kwa ajili ya maisha yako haleluya hata wakinuka hao when even when this stand against 
Mungu ndio aliwaumba pia wao. God loves everyone. Mungu ndio aliwaumba wao. God created all of them. Na alipowaumba wao, amekamilisha kwamba he confirmed it. Watayuka siku hiyo. During those times, lakini ana njia ya kumweza vita hivyo. God has a way to deliver his people. Ana njia ya kumaliza vita hivyo ambavyo watainuka navyo ndugu zetu wa Islam. That will be brought on by this religious powers. Hallelujah. Amen. Tunaenda kwa hatua ya tano. Let's continue. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Glory to Jesus. Nenda kwenda kwa kwa ya tano na nimalizie hapo. Let's finish at the uh, uh, fifth sign. Na ikiwa utapata nafasi siku nyingine tutaendelea tumalize somo hili. Sababu ni mengi sana. It's very long. Amen. Ni mengi sana. It's very long teaching. Ambao nimesema mwanzoni Atuwe tukaifundisha hivi. We can't just teach and finish it in Hii inachukua semina. This needs to be a seminar. Ya mawiki. And weeks. Ambapo watu waelewe. So that we can understand. Kiundane. The deep kuhusu alama. About the signs za ujio wa Yesu Kristo. Of the return of Jesus. Hivi ndio tunaenda tunaruka juu. We are just jumping. Ili wana wa Mungu apate picha. So that we can get a picture kwa ajili ya ujio wa Kristo. Ya tano na ya mwisho. The fifth sign today we are finishing here. Ndio tuliongea hapa kuhusu new world order. That's what we spoke. Kutakuwa kuinuka kwa, kwa umoja wa Ulaya. The new world order. Uliopanda the new world order. Wata, wa, uliopanda watafuta umiliki wa ulimwengu. The new world order will lead the whole world and as an uh, ascendant european union seek global primacy the european union will seek global supremacy bwana yesu asifiwe sana hiyo itainuka that na itakapoinuka when the new world order is operating ni hapo utakutana sasa that's when kunaanza kuonekana alama za huyo mpinga kristo this is when the signs of the antichrist will begin Uh, uh, operating because there will be ten countries ambazo zitajiunga that will come together na, na mpinga kristo that will come together to stand with the antichrist kuna nchi ambazo zimeshapita zamani zishindo changuka there are countries that have been defeated already na kuna zile ambazo zipo saa hizi and there are those other countries na ambazo zitakuja that will come zitajiunga na mpinga kristo we'll work together with the wakati hiyo serikali ya ya Ulaya itainuka ni hapo tutaanza kuona mpinga Kristo kila kila sasa kuna nchi ambazo zitaungana na hao watu kuna nchi ambazo zimeshaanguka kitambo zimeshaongozwa zikatoka There are other countries that stood up but with Ya kwanza ni Egypt. Uh, Egypt was one of the Assyria ishakaanguka. Syria was defeated. Uh, Neo Babylonia ishakaanguka. Ba- uh, Babylonia was defeated. Persia ishakaanguka. Persia was defeated. Greece ishakaanguka. Oh Greece also was defeated. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na leo kuna moja ambayo ni namba 6 ambayo inaongoza ulimwengu ni America. And there is this other country that's leading the world today is the United States. Sasa hizi naongoza ulimwengu. Leading the whole world. Hallelujah. Na baada ya hapo sasa kutakuja Rome. Rome also rise. Ambao sasa itakuwa ndio nasimamia Rome will umoja wa Ulaya. Lead this na kuweza kupeleka watu katika hali ya mpinga Kristo. Na kipindi hicho kutasimama na kutainuka vita vikali ambavyo ni tribulation ya Wakristo. What is called tribulation persecution. Ambao tayanuka kupambana katika wakati huu pambana na hawa watu ambao ni wapinga Kristo. That, that those who believe in Jesus Christ will be persecuted. Na wakati wa kuteswa huko during that persecution watu wengi sana so many people watakwenda kupoteza maisha will be dead will be killed 
Watu wengi sana so many people watakwenda kumkana Kristo Yesu. Will deny Jesus Christ. Na wakati na hayo yote yatatokea. And when those things are happening. Jua kwamba ni kuja kwa Yesu Kristo. So that this is the return of Jesus Christ. Ninakwenda kuishia hapo. I'm going to finish it. Ni kwako wewe na mimi. It's up to you and myself. Kuanza kutambua siri. To begin discovery. Wala kutambua alama. The signs za kuja kwa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Alama zitatokea. These signs will happen. Kabla Yesu Kristo hajarudi. Before Jesus Christ returns. Hizo alama zitatokea. These signs will. Ili bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aje. Before Jesus Christ. Ni lazima ayo kwa yatatokea. Sasa yeye atafuata baadaye. Before the Lord returns. Hallelujah. Amen. Ndio tunapitia saa hizi. What we are going through today. Tuko tunaona ni zile alama. We are going through some of the signs. Za uchio bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Some of the signs to show to talk to show us na ndio maana tumesimama kama watumishi wa Mungu. Kuweza kuambia watu siri. Ya upame wa mbinguni. Ninaamini kwamba watu wa ulimwengu watatuchukia. Lakini walio wa kiroho watakuwa na hamu na kiu kujua hizi alama. Maana Biblia nasema. The Bible says sisi hatuko wa ulimwengu huu. We, we Ndio maana ulimwengu unatuchukia. Kama Yesu alimchukia kwanza Yesu mbele. Na ukitaka wewe uwe wa ulimwengu huu. So yes, because you are not of this world. Ukitaka uwe wa ulimwengu huu. If you want to belong to this world. Wewe utakuwa ni adui wa Yesu Kristo. Na ukitaka kuwa rafiki wa Yesu Kristo. Utakuwa adui wa ulimwengu. Ndio maana wakati tunasema ukweli. Unaambia watu mambo ya siri ya ufalme wa mbingu. Wa ulimwengu watakuchukia. Watakupiga vita. Watakupanga majina. Watakuja mkila aina zote tofauti za majina. Lakini kuna tumaini moja. Baba amesema, God has said, usiogope. Yuko nasi. Hata mwisho wa dahari. Na Mungu atubariki. Amen. Amen.